I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to find limits by direct substitution. For other techniques I'd like you to search Anil Kumar limits playlist and practice variety of questions based on this topic. So the question here is limits solved by direct substitution. Well most of the time these functions are continuous at the point where we're trying to find the limit and so by direct substitution we can find the answer right let's take them one by one the first one here is limit 3x square plus 1 when x approaches 2 you can always actually pause the video answer these questions and then look into my video right so have a good look at this and start solving direct substitution right so the first question is limit 3x square plus 1 when x approaches 2 Whenever you have a question on limit, best practice is to substitute and check. So if I substitute 2 here, what do I get? I get 3 times 2 square plus 1, and that is 2 square is 4, 3 times 4 plus 1, so we get answer is 13. If you get a, get a valid number here, 0 is also valid, then the limit exists, and that's the value of the limit, right? So this limit is 13. The other question here is, Limit 21 over 31 when x approaches 41. You will see this is a constant function. Is it okay? So for a constant function, if you sketch a graph, it will always be a horizontal line, right? So this is positive, and if you sketch a graph, what you get is a horizontal line, correct? And the value at any value of x will be 21 over 31. So the limit for this particular function will be 21 over 31 in its entire domain. Perfect. Okay. Then we have limit when x approaches 0 for x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 1. Now this function is discontinuous at x equals to plus minus 1. At 0, it is continuous. Is that okay? So we can just substitute 0 here. If I substitute 0, I get 0 plus 1 divided by 0 minus 1, and that is minus 1. So limit of this function will be minus 1. Correct? Now as an exercise, you can find limit of this function at x equals to 1, right? That will be interesting. Okay. Now here we have limit pi squared plus 3 when x approaches 0. Now this is also a constant function, right? Pi is constant, 22 over 7 or 3.14, right? So for any constant function, limit is, is the constant value, which in this case is pi squared plus 3, correct? So we'll write the same answer. And this is kind of similar to the question we did earlier. Now we have limit 3 to the power of x minus 1 when x approaches 0. So let's substitute 0. We get 3 to the power of 0 minus 1. Now anything to the power of 0 is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So the answer is 0. 0 is a valid real number and that could be the answer. Here we have a trigonometric function limit cos square x when x approaches pi by 4. So let's substitute pi by 4. So what we get here is cos square pi by 4. Perfect. Now what is cos pi by 4? You will also write this as cos pi by 4 and everything square, right? It's so one and the same thing. Cos pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2. And when you square this, what you get is 1 over 2. So the answer here is half, right? So like this, you can find limit of some functions which are actually continuous at that point where we are interested in finding limit by direct substitution. Is it okay? Now if you have a question like this, which is limit x approaches 0 for 1 over x, what we get here is, if I substitute 0, I get 1 over 0. Now this is undefined, and for this particular say, case, the limit is does not exist. Okay, so sometimes even by direct substitution, you may find that the limit does not exist, right? This is 
one of those cases perfect so this is very important to understand limit may or may not exist and at times you can find it by direct substitution I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps so let's move on and do some more questions on limits especially when they are of the form of 0 over 0 when we substitute the limiting value right so those are called indeterminates we'll see how to find limits of functions which have 0 over 0 form I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you learned from this feel free to share my videos and write your comments thank you and all the best